today's video we are going to look at the changes that happened to the galaxy s10 plus after the one ui 2.1 so guys now it's running on the latest software as you guys can see it's on one ui 2.1 and on the latest one april 2020 security patch guys so the i will show the camera first so camera we do get a feature called single take so the single take feature basically does is make use of our three cameras that means our we have an ultra wide camera then we have telephoto camera and we have the normal camera so it's take photos from all these three cameras and sometimes it makes a hyperlapse video then a reverse video then a normal video so i will show an example right now So guys this is an example of the single take which i have done on the galaxy s10 plus itself so i just take a photo of this and we do get a normal photo then we get a normal video of that same one then we get a color filter applied photo then we get a fast forwarded video then we get a random another shot then we do finally get a reverse video so that's all regarding the single take on the galaxy s10 plus so that's uh, basically does fine actually i love it then on extras we do get pro video mode so the pro video mode was missing on the galaxy s10 plus but in one ui 2.1 update we get the pro video mode so the pro video mode basically allows us to toggle the iso white balance then the focusing levels then we have the aperture so we can we know that the main camera of the galaxy s10 plus is f 1.5 to f 2.4 so that's we can if we can manually change all the settings and we can take the videography up to a pro mode so that's upon you guys on selecting that then we get an another advantage in the front camera department so previously we can't record uhd at 60 fps on the front camera but now it's possible to take uhd at 60 fps so that's all regarding the main things that happened on the camera update also we get some more improvements to the ar emojis and all so that's all the other things then on the next thing we do get two more new features like the quick share and music share as you guys can see so the quick share is something like the airdrop from the iphone so it basically sends allows us to transfer files from one phone to another so it if your quick share is enabled on your phone and you wish to send any file so suppose if i wish to send this video then we can if the quick share is turned on and the other device which you're having is quick share then it will instantly di display the device over here and just clicking that instantly sends faster than when compared to third party uh, transferring apps like the Xcenter share it or something like that but in samsung we already have the wi-fi direct so that's so actually i use the wi-fi direct more convenient than this one so it's up on you guys on selecting this then the other feature we do get on this is the music share actually the music share is something like that sharing our bluetooth so i feel that uh, uh much useful than others because if you are in a vehicle so your bluetooth your phone is connected to the bluetooth of the car then you are you also want your friend to be connected to the same bluetooth so first of all you have to do is turn your device on and then on the other device you also need to pair his phone to the same bluetooth which you are connected then you can simultaneously play uh, from yours to the yours so actually i don't feel much uh, convenient at some times and also actually this is a feature so that mean makes some people make use of that friend so that's upon you guys on selecting that guys apart from that i feel um actually uh, in day by day update to receive on the galaxy s10 plus it gets even smoother and smoother actually uh, actually i played pubg for about a long time in the galaxy s10 plus actually i didn't feel any types of uh, lags shortening lags in whatsoever so at the first time that i got the galaxy s10 plus it's have some minor issues but actually by update and updates gets improved actually now it's far better improved actually the pubg and higher end settings uh, was up absolutely smoothing and incredible in performance and actually i didn't feel any sort of heating and all but i did see some uh, sort of heating at the frame uh, not at the uh, back of the phone but at the frame i feel some heating but it's absolutely normal heating but then comes to the other features uh, when we get via this update are uh, regarding that you guys can see the updates so ar emoji actually i told you ar emojis have been improved then the uh, ar zone single take pro video mode and we can apply filters to video actually i have shown uh, applying the filters actually we can have an option like this one so and we can have the filters applied to the same area like this you can switch between the filters and also we can customize create filters from your own photos actually we can select if you select this one and then click next it will automatically change your photo like that so see filter one so that's up on you guys it's like uh, a custom photo app like that one so actually i didn't give much importance 
to that one then we can go back to the description itself then actually we have self tone improvement then time lapse for night time and actually i already mentioned uhd at 60 fps and uh, then upon gallery we have some sorting mechanization which is more improved and then we can can have some updates in the samsung keyboard then i have already mentioned about the quick share and music share